The top story tonight, the State of the Union with Newt Gingrich. The former Speaker of the House is in a unique position. He knows the players. He knows the corrupt system. I spoke with him a short time ago. Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm glad to get to talk to you tonight because I'm getting the anger from the folks. Why didn't anybody tell us about this stuff? Well, look, I, I think to a large extent we're faced with a genuine crisis of the system because the politicians on Capitol Hill who should have been doing this weren't, and the bureaucrats in the executive branch who should have been doing this weren't, uh, and now they're all going to scurry around and try to cover it up and, and have sort of a... Uh, an agreement of silence and it's profoundly wrong when you say they weren't doing their job are they just stupid or are they trying to play a game with the american public that's their job to be watchdogs to let us know if the fundamentals of the economy are tottering so why didn't they let us know one of the provisions that i wanted to put into any kind of a financial package is that no company that gets that gets money from the treasury in this process be allowed to hire a lobbyist I mean, what you have today is that the rich in wall street and the powerful at fannie mae and freddie mac had so many politicians beholden to them that in fact nobody was going to check them and so they got away with things that were absolute baloney and it's it's a tragedy here's a good example hillary clinton six hundred thousand barack obama five hundred thousand john mccain one hundred and fifty thousand from Freddie Mac, was it? I, I believe it's one of the two. All right. So you're, you're saying you know, because... One of the, Go ahead. One of the ground rules you may have to adopt is that nobody can give money from a PAC or a lobbyist who represents an industry your committee supervises. You have to raise your money away from your own committees. So you agree with me that both parties are at fault. Now let's get into the personalities. Absolutely. Barney Frank is in charge of the Finance Committee. Barney Frank was pushing loans to poor people which you know look we feel bad for americans who aren't making a lot of money they need a house too how culpable is barney frank on this well the whole effort starting with the clinton administration in which franklin Raines, who had been clinton's uh... director of the budget became the head of fannie mae the biggest single institution lending money for housing took got ninety million dollars in six years and is now barack obama's advisor on housing they announced very proudly in nineteen ninety nine they were going to pe put people in housing that couldn't afford it now you don't do somebody a service if you get them overextended into a home they can't afford if you get them training so they can get a better job that's good If you teach them how to save money so they can someday afford a house that's good but it, overextending people as liberals did throughout this period is not a good thing and frankly republicans began to go along with it because the political pressure was so great how, how could you say you didn't want poor people to have a house well it turns out if you don't if you're too poor to afford a house in the long run you get hurt if you are lured by the government and i think a lot of the pressure on fannie mae and freddie mac and other lending institutions was pressured directly from the politicians to help the poor get into houses they couldn't afford. All right, is it the same situation with Dodd today? Uh, Reed gets out there, as I just said in my talking points memo, and says Dodd's been in the Senate Finance Committee his whole career. I didn't hear Dodd say a word to me about any of this. In Dodd's case, he is the largest single recipient of money from Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. Uh, Barack Obama was number two. Uh, the fact is that to have Dodd preside over writing this bill, I think, is absolutely disgusting. I am appalled that Harry Reid appointed him to sit in there, but it is the nature of politics up there right now, uh, and I think why, it's very, why very bad for the country. Why would you disqualify Dodd? Why do you? Why would you say Dodd can't be a part of this? Why? I mean, this is a guy who's totally in with all the people in Wall Street and all the people at Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and they have paid his campaigns, they have given him money, they put him in a position of power. And now he's going to turn around and write a bill to give them money? There's something profoundly wrong about the current system. It looks like President Bunch once again was caught unaware. I am very embarrassed to have a Republican president and a Secretary of the Treasury come to the Congress for $700 billion of your tax money with no strings, no controls, no accountability. This entire performance the last two weeks, I think, is embarrassing to any fiscal conservative and anyone who believes in limited government. And I can't explain it, and I can't defend it.
But the key question is, President Bush didn't use his bully pulpit to warn people not to buy AIG, not to buy Lehman I don't Brothers. Think, I don't think he knew, and I don't think he was told, and I think he has been significantly failed by his staff and by his cabinet, and I think it is tragic.